here we have a sterling 14p bolt. Uh, I'm just going to show you the dismantling of it, how to dismantle it and put it back together. First of all, you'll see at the cap, lift that up, get another flat head in there, and try and jimmy up this locking pin. As you can see, it takes quite a bit. You can move the bolt handle and then jimmy it out um, while lifting up that cocking pin cap. So now you better pull this handle off. You'll see the spring. And you'll see the cap here. Take that off. Okay. All that's off. So now what we have next will be removing that pin that's retaining the firing pin cylinder and spring and spring cap. Now what you need to find as a tool, like a little pin, you're going to tap out a pin on the side. And once you've got it started, make sure you keep your eyes away from the top, the, the firing pin and the firing pin spring is there with the, the cap on the spring and that may fly up. So just keep that on there. Pull this retaining pin out. Now what you want to do, if you have something to hold on top, pull that out. So there's the spring, and now we'll be able to pull, slide that. And that's the firing pin. That's the firing pin. Um, if you're having firing issues, you can either build the tip up, look like a MIG weld or something, um, sharpen it up, make sure it all fits, of course. Um, maybe even just give it a clean. If you have firing pin uh, striking issues, pull the spring out, maybe stretch a little bit. You can either clean it, lubricate it, whatever you want, and then put everything back together. Um, and hope that it's going to fix your issue, which is very common with these sterlings to have firing, misfiring issues. I'll show you the rest of it. This is just the extractors there. Now we'll just put it back together. There has to be another trick to this as well. Now you have to push the spring down once you hear this for open click back into place. Push that down. Get the pin that holds the swiring pin in place. Have a look here. 
TC, go past. Chuck it in there. Tap it in. Tap it until it catches the pin. And just try and jim it around. Cool, so that's back in there. Cap there, chuck that on top again. Sitting there, spring goes on there. Let's that all in there, push it down. Now what you want to do is get your cocking pin. We're going to put our cap on. Little piece here. Okay. Put the spring on. Handle on top. Put that in. Cool. Gonna get the cocking pin and you're gonna put it in the hole again. Push that in. Give it a bit of a tap. Make sure. And we're good to go. And that's how you disassemble a sterling bolt.